What's going on guys? We are making some serious progress. Just uh, finished up uh, the final polish on the car. I use Sonex uh, 4.6. Now it's an incredible product, definitely a game changer. Um, I'll put the link below what I use, but the paint on this car came out amazing. I uh, ordered some Reflex from Ammo New York. I'm gonna coat it with that. I'm also gonna coat a Ford GT with that same stuff. So that'll be interesting. It'll definitely be the most expensive car I've ever coded. Uh, I won't make a video of that just because no one ever watches those videos when I do them on paint correction. Lots of good content out there on that. Definitely watch Ammo New York. He's probably the best in the game. Um, but yeah, the paint looks amazing. It came out just crazy good. I probably have, I don't know, 14 hours in paint correction on this car, if I had to guess. 14 or, yeah, probably about 14 hours start to finish from clay, cut, polish. Um, definitely took my time, did it right. It's gonna look amazing once we get the coating on it. But today, I uh, got a bunch of parts in, so we're gonna start putting uh, some stuff together. I ordered uh, belts from uh, RJS, these are cam lock belts. What was in the car was the old flip style and they expired, I wanna say in 2013, so that tells you the last time this car was on a track. Um, I had to order another bracket uh, for the uh, crotch belt for the passenger side just cause I ordered the same five part point uh, cam lock harnesses for both sides. Much nicer. Much nicer than what was in there, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna start bolting that stuff in. All right, so the issue with the uh, roller cage mount is the belt. You can see kind of the mark how the old belt was. The new one's a lot flatter, so uh, I'm gonna notch this just a tiny little notch out of this, so uh, the belt can mount flush. I don't want that belt chafing on that at all. So I'm gonna cut this bracket down. Uh, all the support's still going to come from the bolt. The bracket's just uh, there basically to hold the seat, but the belt is held by the bolt, so we're not hurting anything uh, structurally by doing this. So, um, I think I'm actually just going to use a hacksaw to do this. This aluminum should, should go pretty, pretty quick. go that should work all right I'll put these belts in first while I got some room not gonna put the passenger seat in we got too much crap still to do it's stupid to put it in this one will probably come out too I just want to see it in here so I'm gonna put it in I think that side I'm just going to leave this adjuster handle right off. There's no reason to have it in the car. I might do it on this side too. Get the seat where I want it, pop this thing off. So there's the piece we uh, modified. So the belt clears. Be perfect. Just to make sure I put this in the right spot. Came out sweet. Ended up pulling the adjuster out of this side too, but looks awesome.
So I didn't do a video on the paint correction on this car. Like I said, I've done a bunch of those. No one really tends to watch them. But um, I am gonna just throw the GoPro up and time lapse putting on this new ammo. This is their uh, Reflex Pro. From everything I've read, this is like the best coating you can you can do. I've always used C quartz. You know, I've probably gone through 20 bottles of C quartz doing cars over the years. I know how to work with it. Um, it does a great job, but I've heard nothing but great things about this product. So uh, I'm gonna use my car as a test dummy. We're gonna coat it with this. And uh, I bought it to do a Ford GT. So the other half of that bottle will be going on a Ford GT here in the next week or two. But uh, yeah, I'll slap the GoPro on. We'll see how this comes out. All right, let's see what the hype's all about here. You only need a little bit on the pad. Seal the bottle back up to help it last longer between. Well, this stuff you can do trim, plastic, paint, headlights. So we're going to coat the whole car. Wow, it spreads. Amazing. Goes a long way. Put it right on the quarter, right on the, right on the quarter glass here, which is known for going bad in that trim. As soon as you start to see it rainbow, it's ready to come off. I don't want to see it. It's pretty fast. First panel. Pretty sick. Get the whole car done. So that stuff uh, definitely changed the game. I will never buy C quartz again after just one coating. And I've probably, like I said, I've probably gone through 20 or 30 bottles of C quartz, UK's finest, over the last few years. Kind of detail cards on the side and coat them. I usually, uh, you know, try to do a couple a month. But this stuff literally is the greatest on and off coating I've ever used. There's so much going on in the coating world right now. Everyone's got the greatest ceramic. Everyone's got stuff that'll last for a lifetime or five years or whatever. Let's be honest, guys that are anal like me are gonna do this once a year. So 
that's kind of why I went with uh, this ammo setup is he doesn't make these outrageous claims. He's all in on this, on this, you know, this is his livelihood. And, uh, you know, it's obviously a lot more money than buying ceramic, uh, you know, C-Quartz UK, but man, do you get what you pay for? It is unbelievable. I also bought the re his reboot. Um, so that's kind of like reload, I guess, if you're used to using C-Quartz. So after you wash the car, you can put that on, kind of bring the coating back to life. But man, the biggest thing for me was how this did on the trim. Anyone that owns a Fox body knows, especially quarter windows, how bad this trim is. This was starting to fade a little bit on this car. Holy crap, it made all the trim look brand new. And I mean brand new. All the trim, I did the trim, I did the windows, the, the, the rear view mirrors, side view mirrors that were starting to fade. The stuff looks brand new. I even did the interior. I'll flip the camera around here and show you that. But I'm honestly blown away with how easy this is going on and off into the whole car in uh, uh, two and a half hours. I took my time, obviously, did the interior as well, all the plastic, did the headlights, did the wheels. Holy crap, does it look good. And, uh, you know, I, like I said, I, I have two full days of paint correction into this car. So, you know, the base that it was going on was pretty damn good. Um, you know, this was a race car. Obviously, it's the paints never look like this. I mean, maybe right when they did it, but you guys saw what the car looked like when I got it. But man, does it look awesome. Really stoked on this stuff. We'll definitely be using um, this product on every car I coat moving forward. So uh, anyone that gets their paint correction from me, your costs are gonna go up a little bit because mine's going up a little bit. So yeah, flip the camera around and I'll show you guys uh, the finished product. It's pretty unreal. I mean, look at the quarter windows. This trim was starting to fade. It looks brand new. I did all this trim. Same with the mirrors. I did the wheels. Came out unbelievable. Interiors, probably the most amazing thing though. All this plastic, how faded it was. It looks like it literally looks brand new. It's pretty incredible that one bottle does everything. This hood was the worst thing on this car. It was, uh, Pretty faded when I got it. Brought that back pretty solid. Man, am I excited about how that came out. <laughs> I mean, anyone that owns a Fox body should buy this just for the trim. I know that sounds crazy, but man, does it look good. You can see the belts now that got the light on in here. So just kind of a short video this time, guys. I'll keep making them as I get stuff done. Um, next week, after the holiday, will be a big week. Uh, we'll give, have everything back for the motor. We'll have the pistons back from line to line. I'll shoot a video of going over there, show you guys that whole process. But uh, yeah, really excited on how the car is coming. You know, definitely making it mine, making it shine. Again, I know it's a race car. It's gonna get dirty. It's gonna get covered in, you know, rubber. Who knows? But uh, this is just who I am. Gotta make stuff look good. Gotta make it, you know, perfect. So uh, yeah, thanks for taking along. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you do. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy New Year. Peace.